Hi everyone, hope you're doing amazing. Today we're doing really well, thank you. My name is Carolina Fonseca Jimenez. I focus on doing children's books that promote love, unity, and peace. And as you know, we also interpret dreams here. The reason we do that is because when we interpret our dreams, we are connecting with our subconscious. And when we share them, we connect with one another on a more profound level. So guys, in this video, it's going to be a part two of the nightmare thing that we talked about a couple weeks ago, okay? So let me just give you a quick recap of that video. In the nightmare video, we started talking about those dreams that cause us anxiety, uh, worry, some energy, those dreams that cause us fear, right? We were saying that the dreams that cause us fear, a lot of us know them to be nightmares, okay? And in this video, we talked about how to interpret this kind of dream. We talked a lot about moving from fearful energy to loving energy in order to really see what the dream is trying to tell us, okay? And within this, we started practicing kind of peeling away, right? Peeling away that fearful layer, that anxious layer to get to the root of what is really bothering us in our subconscious level, okay? Now in this video, we're going to take that even further, okay? And we're going to talk about how powerful this practice is whenever you're sleeping and how that powerful energy can reflect in your waking state when you're confronted with these kinds of fearful situations all right so guys remember this though whenever you're having a dream whenever you're in that most subconscious state that is when you can make changes that is when you can uh, create new habits right or get rid of old habits okay there are some people that actually pay to be hypnotized so that way they can either stop smoking or eat uh, better or just uh, lose weight whatever there are people that actually pay to be hypnotized but what i'm talking about here is really creating your own power, okay? Creating your own power and knowing that you can do all of those things on your own through the dream world, okay? Whenever you're in that subconscious state, you can do, you can change, you can alter, you can do whatever it is that you want and that will start to reflect in your waking life, okay? Now, when we're talking about having these nightmares, a lot of the time uh, we do wake up with fearful energy and we're like, oh no, I don't know what this means, all of these things, right? But the practice of simply moving from fearful energy to loving energy before interpreting this dream, when we're starting to peel off that layer of fear, that layer of anxiety, that same practice starts to reflect in your waking life. So for example, if I'm at work or if I'm with family, and the fearful energy starts to grow. I start to see this situation kind of bubbling up. People are getting upset. People are getting angry. People are operating out of fearful energy, okay? If I am also operating out of fearful energy, I basically have these little blinders on, okay? All that I can see is fear. All that I can see is anxiety. And I, in turn, am operating. I'm operating through the same energy. So I don't see solutions. I'm just seeing a lot of fear and I'm seeing a lot of anxious energy. And guess what? A lot of the time what happens, we operate out of this energy. We say we do things out of this energy and then later what happens we start to regret it we're like oh gee i really shouldn't have said that then you start apologizing oh sorry that i said this because i was operating out of anger i was operating out of fear okay but now what i'm proposing here is that if you're practicing moving to a more loving state in your dream state in your waking life you will do the same thing so for example if i am one that's practicing this kind of uh, energy during my waking state and during my dream state i'll be in the same situation I'll see people, you know, creating fear, creating problems and all of these things, but you will kind of be outside of it, okay? You'll sort of be outside of that situation. And when, you'll be look, when you look down on it with your loving energy, you're going to see opportunity. You're going to see um, things that you can change. You're going to see solutions in this. Why? Because you're operating out of loving energy, okay? So a lot of time people say, or ask me, why am I so positive? Why am I always looking at the silver lining? How am I always doing that? And guys, it's really easy. It's actually because I literally practice this every single night in my dream state, okay? I am always practicing operating out of loving energy. If I wake up with fearful energy, if I had a fearful dream, I practice moving myself. Like I talked to you about in the last video, I practice moving myself from fearful energy to neutral, to loving energy, okay? And then I see the situation for what it is. Same thing, that kind of practice starts to reflect in my waking life, okay? So if I see these things going on that are causing fearful energy, I no longer submerge myself in it, okay? We're able to now look at it from a distance, okay? We start to see solution, we start to see um, opportunity, okay? That's why I'm always saying that if you practice this in your waking state, your problems are no longer going to be problems, okay? Because you have a different perspective on it. You, you've taken off those fearful lenses, those fearful glasses, right? So that same practice can be really shown to you in your waking state, 
all right so a lot of the time whenever we have these these dreams these nightmares we almost avoid them we start cringing we're like oh that was really bad i don't even want to think about it we tell a couple of people but we're so filled with fear that we don't see what's underneath it what the dream is really telling us okay but if we can really practice it if we can start peeling off the fearful layer if we can start peeling off that anxious energy and see it with just neutral eyes at least then you can really see what's going on okay then you can see what's going on and then this exact practice this mental practice of being able to to peel off anxious energy peel off feel for fearful excuse me energy that same practice you're operating here at your subconscious state in your dream state will reflect over here in your waking state okay you're going to start to see opportunities you're going to start to be able to see solutions Okay, you're going to operate out of that loving energy. Why? Because you've been practicing it. You've been practicing it in the most subconscious state to you. All right. Now, another thing too, to just kind of uh, to take in consideration is that whenever you're doing this, you know, it's not just because um, you want to be able to interpret your dreams and, and, you know, just kind of work out of dream state. It's not for that. Remember that we are one being, okay? We are one being. I am living in this waking life, this three-dimensional world with all of these people, okay? I get that. I'm able to do and I'm able to act out of here. That's correct. But because I'm one being, I am also in my dream state, okay? When I go to bed at night, I am in that dream state. I am having some dreams. I am having some lucid dreams. I am having some messages coming up from my subconscious, okay? From things from years ago, from present things, whatever. I'm having a lot of information here. I have to also be able to act and to understand what my dreams are telling me, to be able to live in this dream state world, okay? Because remember, since we're one being, we have to be able to do both. We have to be able to understand what is going on in our dream state, to be able to understand our dream language, so that, that way we can actually connect with ourselves profoundly on this level, but then also for that to reflect in our waking life, okay? Can you imagine being so united with yourself that you're able to see loving energy in your waking state, but also your dream state? Okay, that kind of unity and that kind of peace is something that can be practiced and you can practice it simply with your dream interpretations. That's why I'm always talking about dreams. You know, everybody's always like, why are you so positive? Why are you so this? Well, it's really because I literally practice that kind of stuff every day, okay? The dream world for me, has really been just, it's been eye-opening, okay? And it's really saved me on many levels because it's like questions that I have, questions that you have, you know, that are that are questions from your past that you haven't resolved, things or issues that you haven't been able to resolve, things from your present that you need answers to, that you need clarification on, or things that you're worried or concerned about that may happen in the future. All of these questions that you have, those can all literally be answered in your dream state, okay? Your entire self has the answers to all of these questions, okay? You know what you're supposed to do. You know how you're supposed to act. But a lot of the time, we operate our life with this fearful energy, right? We have this fearful energy and that's all we see. We don't see solution. We don't see opportunities because we're operating on a fearful energy. So that's why I make these videos and I talk about the importance of listening to your dreams operating out of that loving energy because if you can do that at your most subconscious state when you're dreaming you can start changing things you can start uh, altering things about yourself things that you feel you need to change right things and in ways that you want to grow right whatever it is that you want to do you can do that and you can operate through that through your dream world and then this same energy will start to reflect in your waking state and it makes you a very powerful individual because if you're able to communicate with both worlds in that way you are a united being Okay, that's where the power comes in for you. So next time that you do have a nightmare, be thankful for it. And something that I've talked about before that is really helpful is, you know, when you wake up with a fearful dream with a nightmare, it's like completely clouding your judgment. So one of the things that is really helpful is once a, a, like a thought comes in, a fearful thought comes in, just boot it out. Say, you know, this isn't loving. I don't like how it feels. I'm going to boot it out, right? Anything that you don't like uh, the feeling of, if you don't like the, the feeling of that fearful energy, just boot it out. Say, nope, don't want it. Boot it out. Keep doing that. Boot it all out until you get to neutral. Once you get to neutral, you can start to incorporate things that you're thankful for. You can talk about being thankful for your health, for your family, for your pets, whatever it is that you can think of, go ahead and just think about it profoundly, okay? And then you'll start to see that you're going to slowly move into loving energy. Once you're in loving energy, then you can truly interpret your dreams, see what's going on at that level, right? And the same practice you can use in your waking state. So you can start to see those opportunities that are right in front of you, okay? Those opportunities that are just literally waiting for you to see them because they're right there. But a lot of the time when we operate out of fearful energy, we just don't see them, all right? 
So this week we continue to practice moving to more loving energy every time so that we can understand ourselves not just at our subconscious dream state but more in our waking life so that we can be more transparent beings. And now guys, let me give you just one uh, quick like update. So March 21st, we're going to be at our book fair. It's a bilingual book fair. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be super cute. So I will share that information with you on Facebook and on YouTube. Okay. All right, guys, but I send you loving energy. We will be in contact. Okay. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.